If you're born in fifth grade, uh, hey, it's Monday. It's hard to believe it, but it's already Monday. Hey, here we go. We're going to be starting off today with writing down our new Bible verse. Forgiveness. Uh, so I'm going to jump out of the way right, right quick so you can see it all. You might have already got it in your WCDS notes, the Royal Notes. I also attached it down at the bottom. Uh, either way, I need you to copy that down into your verse cards. So either copy it from your notes or copy it from up here. Uh, one or the other. Got to copy it somehow. So go ahead. I'm going to jump out of the way. Hit pause when you can see this thing. Once you have it all copied down into your verse cards, uh, then go ahead and hit play again. So I'm going to talk a little bit about forgiveness. All right. If you didn't get a copy down yet, jump back 15 seconds, hit pause, copy it down. All right. Hey guys, forgiveness is super, super important. Um, it's important for many reasons. So, I mean, let's, let's walk through this real quick. So our Christian definition is treating someone as though he's never hurt me. That's hard to do. When we get wrong, someone hurts us, hurts our feelings, says something mean to us, does something mean to us. Uh, that hurts. That hurts on the inside. That hurts our, our minds, our souls. Uh, sometimes it physically hurts us, right? So that's difficult. To treat someone like they haven't done something wrong, that's hard to do. But that's what God's called us to do. And man, in Matthew 6, 5, or Matthew 6, we have the Lord's Prayer. That's when Jesus is telling the disciples how it is you should pray. And he's saying, hey, don't sit there and just pray for 20 minutes about nothing. Like, God already knows what you want before you ask him for those things or whatever it might be. Um, God already knows. So I'm going to share the Lord's Prayer with you. A lot of you might already know it. Uh, I think we've talked about it in class already once or twice this year. Uh, but we're going to go through because I, I know this last little bit down at the bottom. Uh, I know room 11, we've talked about this and how important forgiveness is. So check this out, you guys. So he says in verse 7, And when you pray, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think they will be heard for their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. Pray then like this, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. And hallowed means, you know, like praised, worshipped, held above all else. Uh, that's what hallowed means. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have also forgiven our debtors. So forgive us the things we owe other people because we've forgiven what other people have owed us. And then verse 13, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Now here's the key. Check out 14 and 15 at the end. This one, this one like hits home right here. Um, is pretty, pretty intense. It says, for if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Um, so man, what that's saying to me is, hey, if, if we're not, if we're holding our forgiveness from other people and not forgiving them for how they've wronged us, God's going to hold what we've done against him also think about that for a second so all the things that you've done wrong that you've asked for forgiveness for like god forgive me for that time i kicked susie you know or whatever it was uh, but yet you have not forgiven bobby over here for what bobby did to you then god's not releasing his forgiveness for what you did to susie right Try to, yeah, like, yeah, it's intense, right? It's intense. Um, so, man, Jesus telling us right there, if we want God's forgiveness, we need to make sure that we're keeping our hearts clean and forgiving those who have sinned against us. And, man, that's a Christian definition right there. So our opposite trait is wanting to get even with someone who has hurt us or who has wronged us, right? So if you want to get even with someone, yeah, that's, not, that, that's exactly the opposite of forgiveness. So, yeah, great opposite trait right there. All right, and then our next verse, Colossians 3, 13, it says, Bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other as the Lord 
has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. So that's pretty close to our Matthew 6, 14 and 15, where he's talking about why we need to forgive other people so that he can forgive us, right? That's, that's super key. First uh, John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Um, yeah, so man, if we're, if we're faithful, we believe in him, uh, we're, we're forgiving the people that have wronged us and done things to us that have hurt our feelings, uh, then yeah, he's going to be faithful and just too. He's going to come, he's going to forgive us our sins, and then we can move on with our lives. And remember, we talked about repentance, right? How when we repent, we're actually striving to not commit that same sin over and over again. So man, that's that's really key in the forgiveness. Like, if, if we continue to just come and ask God for forgiveness for the same sin over and 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 over, eventually He's going to be like, "For real, you want forgiveness again? Like, come on, man, let's let's try to do better." You know. So, hey, if if there's something you're struggling with, you know, whether it's respecting your parents or doing your work at home when you're supposed to be doing it, yeah, I see you out there. Uh, you know, whatever it might be. You got to make sure that you're putting in that time and effort um, and you're doing what you're supposed to do. And if there's something that you're not doing right, like give that up to God and be like, God, help me be more obedient to my parents when they tell me what they want me to do or when they ask me to do something. Hey, give it up to God. Ask him for help. I mean, the dude created the universe. I think he can help you with whatever you're struggling with. All right. Love you guys. Miss you tons and tons and tons and tons. Um, it was great to get some of the notes you guys dropped off for us last Wednesday when you guys were picking up this week's work. Uh, super, super awesome. I love it. Uh, once again, any kind of questions for any of the Google Classroom stuff or any of the videos or something like that, hey, shoot me a quick email. I'm trying to get back to your parents really, really fast uh, within a day or so or within the same day usually uh, if they need something. So just hit me up. Let us know if you need Mrs. Phillips. Her email is mrs.phillips at wcss.org. And I'm mr.pool at wcss.org. All right. I will be talking to you guys in a little while, talking about math.